Hey guys, today we are going to fix a problem with an Epilogue Mini. I need to change out the x-axis motor because my current one is burning out. So, step one, we're going to take off the left and right panels by removing all of the screws, including the two in the back. I personally have a nice tight area for my lasers, which is great except for when I'm trying to work on them. Then I've got to move the entire situation away from the wall, the corner, and the shelving, all of that good stuff. We have the X motor right here. Here are your part numbers and everything. And this is for my current epilogue that is a, I want to say, 2012 model. Somewhere around there. I'd like to slide my crossbar out a little just so I have some access to it. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to loosen the belt. We're going to loosen it all the way. And then we're going to tighten it back down, tighten the screw down so that it stays loose. That way, we have some space to work with here for the belt. The first thing we're going to do is remove the clippy right here. And then we've got three screws down here we're going to take out afterwards. So this will be very simple and very quick. Better deal here. So the screws are a little bit tough to get to. Uh, they're not nightmarishly so. They can be gotten to with simple flat or a pointy Phillips. I'm going to switch over. To, there's this one. Here's this one, and that way we can go ahead and unwrap this. Okay, and that's for this little fan that goes over the motor. So back to the Phillips, I'm going to take these two tiny screws out, there we go. Tiny, tiny screws, be super, super careful. And then this slides right over the top here. There we go. Once this little plating is out of the way, we have access to our screw again. I'm going to switch right back to the flathead. I'm actually going to go with the smaller flathead. Should. This one's still holding on. There we go. And we slide straight up. We make sure to pull the belt over the ends here. The belt has to be pulled over the end. Now that we've got our old one right there, rock on, rock on, and it's time to put in the new one. So we need to hold this back and go down over it. 
make sure that the belt does slide up into its correct spot and then boom just like that we come at it and we go ahead and tighten our three screws down here I've switched over to a smaller flathead just because it's easier to get nice and straight and it makes this job way way faster now once these are all tight I'm gonna switch back over to the bigger driver because that way I can snug it by hand a little bit easier we don't want these vibrating loose so they need to be hand tightened but not overly tightened okay now I'm gonna have to slide this back through put this guy back over remember to work around your airline here and then we tighten these two screws for the fan on the motor And slightly tighten to snug them up and because this needs to be twisted around this one so that it doesn't go anywhere we're gonna go ahead and get it sorted as well click it in place click this one in place I can get my fingers around it. All right, clicked in, clicked in. All the wires are nice and out of the way. At this point, we go back to the other side over here. Then we loosen this screw and it pulls it back tight. We snug it up ourselves by pinching slightly and then nice and tight. Make sure there's no wiggle room and we're good. Move the head, make sure that we've got nice movement. All right. At this point, the only thing left is to put the side panels back on, boot it up and run a test. And that is how you change out the X-axis motor for an epilogue mini. Thanks for watching guys.